Hi, this is a Python a time function tutorial. So the first thing is let's import for the time function itself. So there are other components that I'll be calling here, but uh, the first one I want to deal with is let's have a look at a tick. So this is just a tick, and here you call the method time dot time enter your parentheses and you can then just print out the number of ticks so number of ticks so let's uh, enter the variable right there and um, because I'm going to be using uh, I will be using this tutorial quite a while so let me enter more lines there okay so what will happen is this particular program what it will do is it will generate a report telling us the number of ticks so if I run the program in the first place let's save it first let me just save it as uh, ticks okay if I then run this program what we see is and you see that guys that is the number of ticks right now and there's another function that we can uh, have a look at and that is uh, let's look at the local time function let me say local time local time equals um, Okay, that'll be time dot local time dot local time. Then uh, open and close your parentheses for the time. Okay, in this case, what we happen is if we decide to print out this very function. Let me just enter a space here. If I decide to print out this very function, this should print out the local current time let's say local current time but with some difference so let me get my local time right there local time variable and place it just in there there so um all i just need to do now is to run this i think i've missed out an l there okay that's fine so save the system and just run it and right here is the numbers of ticks then the local current time you can see this is unformatted it's telling you it's 2014 okay and so on there's a lot of information here so this is not friendly so what I'll do is to actually use a function that will generate a more user friendly time function so and that would be that would be the function called let me call that let me declare a variable called current time current time equals time dot a S T time as the current as the function that we actually generate the current well formatted the time piece for us so we say time local time open and close uh, parenthesis time all right so I think I'm going to need one more bracket right there yeah that's correct then uh, all i just now need to do is let me print out this uh, formatted time so the formatted time get my variables right there and just paste it here okay so let's say formatted uh, local current time is so we run that now and see the output. So when we run 
and uh, when we run the current time that is the formatted local current time you can see it's actually giving us more information that is more user friendly you can see Tuesday April and that's the date and uh, time right there so I feel this method is quite is much better than uh, the previous one so the function that I actually use here is called time.asc time and open a bracket time dot local time open another bracket time dot time close open and close parentheses and so on that is a uh, time function for you guys so if you have any comment you can just let me know 